Hello there everyone, welcome back once again as we are in for another episode of Baldur's Gate 3 as we return to this dirt mound after having bought ourselves a shovel. So let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, it's trash chest. Alright, uh, is it locked? Nope. Okay. So scroll a bone chill and some oh. oh, I'll help you take that. Anyways. Back to the group then. So now we can really return to what we were doing with. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I? No. Okay. Guess we all just have to. Have to. Thankfully, there's a portal white right here that we can warp to. So that's that's nice, I suppose. We could probably take some time to actually also like just take a. Uh, Wrong me how. Curious where this conversation Murder. is going. No Killing is good. It calls the weak. But theft would be paid for painfully a thousand times over. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to organizing our wares with uh, the merchant over here. And see about uh, just, you know. Selling some stuff that we just simply have a lot of access that I else? feel like, uh, of course, we but could definitely lighten remember. ourselves for. You're not the only one in need. Okay, so let's see. We've got these goblin scimitars. Uh, we already have great axe, which we have equipped. I mean. It wouldn't hurt to keep some of these things, so let's just go ahead and wait. Oh, uh, okay, so it's so it's called trading. So the stuff that I sell to him is just okay. I see how it goes. So let's just ah, uh, we actually might keep the javelin since having a. Uh, Maybe keep like two javelins because they can be used as durable weapons. So let's go ahead and do some of that. Okay, and with the trading done, I'm sorry that I paused for it, but you know what? I felt like it would have taken too long if I tried to go over everything that I did. So let's just go ahead and return to where we were. And actually, probably speaking of returning to where we were, I'm kind of tempted to actually take a long rest, to be honest, since. I'm kind of wanting a bit love where we only have sh like one short rest available. It's not the worst. Actually, we don't even have a single short rest available. So I think now is a good time as ever to just simply take the long rest, recover ourselves. Who knows? Maybe we can chat with the party a little bit about happenings. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and do that. So yep, let's go ahead and cap up. Oh, jeez. Looking ahead. Hey, yeah, we're in like some uh, actual clothes. Oh, he has. Oh, <laughs> I see the mirror image. Ah, yeah, that's nice. Th taking a look at yourself, mate. I mean, I guess I wouldn't hurt to actually get. <laughs> That's a creative way of using a spell slot, though. Be with you in a moment. So, what are you doing? Indulging in a spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? They know Do that you know I get. They, they know that the mirror image Fair also. Uh... What does it make you think of? I guess the uh, what uh, what uh, the whole changing into a uh, mind flare thing. Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Oh, that's the Need sounds lovely. Sure, why not? Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five. 
The host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. I take it you get the picture? Yeah. Can't say I blame you. My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. So that would Any mean that the temple... This is abnormal. Long live the abnormal! I'll toast to that. The pragmatic in me, however, sees only the side. Well, yeah, that would make sense. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Yeah, I can definitely agree to that with the fact that, uh, I mean, I guess considering that the whole cerebral, cerebral, yeah, cerebral I believe it's called, it's just like, that's like, it kind of goes pretty quickly, so. It's not exactly a slow process because, I mean, I feel like it, they really do need to, like, hurry up with making sure that the Mind Flayer actually, you know, becomes a Mind Flayer. Anyways, let's go ahead and speak to Lysel. Abominations grow inside us. Our bones should ache, our mouths should bleed, yet we thrive. It is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. Fair enough. Good to know. Good to know that's how you feel about the whole thing. Also looking very fine there. I saw you getting a lecture from our magical friend. Indeed. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no. Not a tentacle to be seen. I'm happy to say that's the same for you as well. Indeed you could. We're all doing surprisingly well, given the circumstances. I'm not taking anything for granted, of course. First sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. I wish you good luck with I that effort. I suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. Hmm. How would you like I to go? I don't think poison is for me. Nor stabbing, come to think of it. I always felt decapitation was a fine choice. One good swing and then nothing. I mean, okay. I could do that. But we were talking about you. What'll it be? Hmm. You know what? Go ahead and decapitate me. I'm sure that will be quick and painless. A fine choice. Now, to use sword or axe or saw. Hmm. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. I mean, I have a this battle axe, so you can go ahead and use that there. Obviously. If the last day has taught me anything, it's that the impossible is more likely than you think. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetical. Agreed on that. All right, Shadowheart, we're all the way over there. Let's have a talk. I couldn't help but over here. Well, all right, I could have helped but didn't. <laughs> anyway, I feel the same. Other than the occasional mental exchange, it's almost as if we're not infected. That is true. The voice on the ship told me I'd become a beautiful weapon. What do you think it meant? Hmm. Maybe it's compliment. <laughs> Adorable. But your timing is awful. Fair enough. Whatever the Mind Flayer's plans were, those dragons spoiled them. That doesn't make our situation less dangerous. That is true. I mean, if it weren't for, like, all the devils, the Either dragons, way, and whatnot, we can't then, take the lack yeah. Of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. I think we can agree to that. Well, I mean, thankfully we happens. are at the grove, so we, we can go ahead and get that going for us. Alright. Uh, let's head up the hay. Honestly, what could go wrong by, uh... Okay. End of day, and we still hit points on small sides. Only where she must use enough camp supplies. Okay. Okay, that uses double. Wow, that doesn't even use a lot.
Oh, okay, so, uh, thing of supplies, uh, will just simply do it for us, so I guess we just simply had two, which would count as 18. Okay. Stallion? What are you doing, mate? <sighs> I know you're awoke and all, but... Alright, well, whatever. Uh, let's see here. So we now have our stuff back. So back onward to... Back onto the uh, questing. So how do I get out of here again? Let's move. Uh... Okay, there we go. That's the that was the option. Took me a while. Good work, kid. Heroes. Oh, Come actually, on. let's go ahead and head back Please. up the. Uh, let's go ahead and head back up camp, so that way we can change up the party. So let's go ahead and get Gale back into the uh, mix. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'd be delighted. Though, someone else will need to watch the cook pot, of course. Back in the thick of things at last. Oh, how exciting. All right. Back into... Back to walk. So, let's see, we got... I've seen some conversation over here with Cal, Wolden, and Mia, so let's go ahead and... Take a listen. Take a little ganda. Pels, we can't just leave. They're kin! I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Hmm. Only cowards want from a fight. How dare you? Prove him wrong then. If you think you're able to, that is. Suck. Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank Indeed. you, Roland. Oh, you're welcome. As well just kind of like walk around, take a chat with everyone. No helping you. are an idiot. We're exposed now to lies. We've known enough grief, this ten day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. Fair enough. I'll try not to. I mean, considering the fact that I did help with, uh, you know, getting people to come back alive, then, I mean, you know, just saying. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. Because it's not... A good while after this. Don't make me urge you, boy. Too late! Looking at you is painful enough! Because it's not really... Oh, hey, there's actually a trader there, over there. Hold on. As well, see what they're selling. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection is pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Elturel. Elturel. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into a oh. These days, I mean, no I, I know Advernus. Well, kind of, but... Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But Wait, you actually went into the hells. There's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Who knows, might have something... Do you have... have I have any better great taxes? Uh, doesn't really look like it. Though it does look like you do have a few better weapons, I mean, who knows, might be good to offer 
everyone something else. But I suppose, sadly, don't really have anything else to give. So, let's ah, the Giti and King Fresh. Though there was something going on over here, something about a heal, I believe. So might as well take a look over there, I suppose. Who knows, maybe the healer might be able to help us. Give it back, kid! I already told you I don't have it! How stupid are you? Okay, uh... Where is... How do I get there? Because, yeah, that get help from healer Netty, so... Oh, okay, I guess we could probably just, like, walk over here. Fine looking beast you are. Uh, Gale. Oh, actually, we can get some level ups, so hold on. Why is all this happening now? Alright, well, you know what? We'll happily take it. So. Let's see, so we. Have. So we can go. Uh, so we have three different subclasses we have the Wild Heart. We have the Berserker, and we have the Wild Magic. So let's... So we become Rage Wild Magic. Causes a random magical effect. Do get magical awareness. Although I do kind of just simply like the thought of just simply being draw Berserker, and just simply following the path of Warhammer. Then War... Wild Heart. The Tomb of Nature and its Beast inspires your rage upon you as supernatural. So, oh, okay, I see. So the Wild Heart is the, what's it called in the handbook? Like the Totem Barbarian or whatever. So, Berserker becomes Frenzy. Oh, we could actually learn how to speak for animals if we go with the Wild Heart. Now well, let's just go ahead and take a look at what everything gives us. Uh, uh, I mean, honestly, I'm tempted to go for the Wild Heart because the fact is that we can either become tankier or we can really up our movement speed, which I feel like is like one of the probably main problems about playing a dwarf. That's hard. That is difficult to determine which one is probably the white right one. But hmm. we opt for the tankiness with the beat. Or do we go for just simply becoming a one-man army? I like that thought. Alright, shut out. Get some more spell slots and some more spells. Nice. So let's see. So how do which one should we go for? Fair healing is always a pretty uh why well, I've got that the spells are actually they just kinda get the spells, they don't actually choose them. Gale though. There we get some options. Alright, so what do we have? King Lock, Blind, uh, Blur, Madness, Dark, 
Dark Vision. Dark Vision might be decent for some people, but I think with how we currently are looking, we're kind of fine with our Dark Vision. I like the thought of Flaming Sphere. Um, this stuff could be pretty useful, especially if there's a person that gets on top of Gale. I feel like that's probably what we'll go for. Alright. Now then. I'm ready for you. With silver tongues. Yeah, okay, to see why this uh, ox is so odd. I was bad void, I was going to screw up somehow. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. I'm sorry, but what's that? Hmm. Hold on, I have an idea. Okay, I guess I can't really do anything then. Well, alright, whatever. I guess I just go ahead and head to the healer. Let my daughter go right now! Oh boy, here we go. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> okay, hold on a moment. That's a bear. Hi. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You get back. I like the trouble. No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You. Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Oh, well, good to know. So, which way is Korga? Uh... I do wish I could understand you. I guess, uh... Let's see, I guess that's like the whole witch world thing that's going on. Ah, okay, I think it's this way. That's a snake. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? Excuse me, she's a I child. Will the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Uh, hi there. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. Uh... Let's see... Well, that's definitely not the answer. Um. Oh, I will. Shadow Heart, please help me. 
Ha! I hear the tree father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sivisif, deal out to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Ah, that could have gone worse. It hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin would. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. Jeez. Okay, I'm not too sure whether I want you to help me now, but anyway, so uh, what does everyone have to say here? That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. I can agree to that. Today's youth is not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions. I had to learn from one's tra transgressions. Couldn't agree more. <sighs> she wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. Uh, but Shadowheart, uh, something going on with your hand there, love. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing. To I'm sorry, about. but I'm pretty sure... It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least. In case your imagination is in yeah, danger I mean, I'm glad it's not tadpole, but still... It's just something I have to live with. Does it hurt a lot? Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Jeez. Alright, well, I mean, if you say so. Alright. Well, I guess. Big dog. I have something to well, let's go ahead and talk to him. Oh, her. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Uh. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I. Okay. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. I mean, okay, I can understand. Oh, so... Guess it's born a powerful magic. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. Know what I call that? Can Wizard. While outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. So... To be willing to let them die. On the world. On everything that's been happening. I am first druid now. I protect the circle, whatever the cost. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to the tiefling leader. Zevlor, he's called. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. Hmm. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Oh, I... Well, I guess I'm talking to Zevlor then. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Obstinate bitch. That's all I have to say about her. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll have to see how well, how best we can walk here. But 
God, that. Uh, that person had had their knickers twisted in a bunch. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. No more light fingers antics. Why tell a better? I mean, thank you for helping me. That's a spirit. Comibus, lock it. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, that's something could be useful. Alright, well, uh, looks like we got some work head out for us. So we have the gate here and kick fresh. Uh, is this the way to our man Snapla? No, I think that's back to uh, that one person. So, uh, let's see what we can do with Snapla to. I guess she'll simply help out with this whole refugee problem. As soon as I figure out where I'm going. Ah, oh, here we go. Stone door. Doors are always meant to be opened. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. You're welcome. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? Uh... Well, I mean, it's either that or fighting with the druids, so... And honestly, I think these druids are probably a bit more willing to shed blood than it comes to apparently anything else here. It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities... Thank goodness for that. You're no army. That is true, though. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. Ah, so like any other goblin in the army. thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Hmm. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Alright. Well, looks like we have some work on our hands. There's a clear path past those goblins. They'll find it. Yes. Of course. Alright. But in the meantime, let's also figure out about that crash. Because apparently that is also a thing that we can uh, figure out here by going apparently this way. I believe. I know you have it. Touch me and I'll... Bite your fingers off! I will! Uh, do I have to talk to you? you got before the goblins come. Find Zoe. Well, you are Zoe, so... We should be getting drunk, at least. It's no fun waiting for death sober. We might need a change of characters. Uh, give me a second. Because since this, uh, since this is apparently uh, related to uh, Lysel, speak. The party's full. You'll need to make room. 
Uh, let's go with Shadowheart. Well chosen. Oh, and now we can level her up. All right, let's just get that over with before we head back. So she chose the Battle Master. Well, that's not. I can definitely say that's definitely a good thing to do. Uh, so let's go with. Jeez, so many things. Let's go with Valley. Let's go. A position. And finally, let's do... I'm going between either disarming or distracting. I think I kind of like the thought of dis disarming. Let us have words. By Mordai's eyes, another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Uh, yes. And please, do what she says. Funny you two know each other? Lower. Uh, yeah, okay, Lysel. Thank you for you your there. You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? <sighs> Look. Look. Trying to lord over a person is not going to help us out at all. So, shut it. Alright. Let's talk. Thanks. What do you want from me? Information. To Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just... Ran. The map. Show me. All right. Hard feelings. You're dismissed. Right. I've got food, water, Dogs my dagger. Life. So that's progress. The All last right. time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. All right. Well, unfortunately, I'm no subordinate. King. Your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Seriously? Teethling? Alright. I am unfamiliar with the... Well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. Or like the language. On matters of this... Fey run. It's Feyrun. Come on. If you want to learn, you better learn right. Anyways, for now, I guess we have that sorted out. Alright, we actually haven't talked to Netty yet, so. Uh, we should probably try and learn that, but I say that we got a good amount of footage for today, so. With things as they are. It's definitely interesting to see how things will go. So, I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to like button, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button to you guys and gals that make this channel alive. And I'll see you all next time.
Bye now.